everyone, this is Sybil Solon, your skin fitness expert. On this channel, you'll find beauty tips and tools to keep you looking your very best on the outside while helping you feel amazing living inside your skin every day. On this video, I'm going to be talking about the hydrofacial tips, one of them, and how they're going to help you have the best skin of your life. <music> So today I'm going to be talking about the final tip we usually use on, on our clients while doing a hydrofacial, and it's a double purpose tip. It is the clear or the white tip, and this is one of the tips that we, we use for either using a booster on people or just to fuse and protect at the end, all right? So it's clear, and we like to have it clear just because it helps us kind of see what's going through it. Um, also, it's just been always clear, but I like to know that it's clear because sometimes if I'm using a boost, it helps me see the booster go in a little better through it. Um, if you look at it, it looks remarkably like the blue tip. Um, I have been told that they are not the same. Um, and I, I have to kind of believe that. Um, this one, it feels a little bit sharper whenever I touch it. It feels a little bit sharper to me, it feels just a, a little bit sharper to me. Um, but they essentially have the same Vortex system. If you haven't watched my video on Vortex systems, please do. The patented Vortex system is what makes the hydrofacial tips so unique, so powerful, and so amazing. Um, and it does have, it has a small aperture in the middle for pushing in the serums. It has the two apertures on the outside. As I should say the two apertures on the outside for pushing in the serums. And this one in the middle for extracting or pulling um, and we don't really use this one for extraction it's too small that's what the aquamarine tip is which you haven't watched that video make sure you do um, but it does still have that ablative surface and there are times where at the very end I'll still kind of go through if I feel any rough patches I'll still go through and fix stuff up um, I like to use it on the lips it's my, my favorite thing to kind of give a little lip treatment with it at the very end because all of my particular facials I do lips neck and chest with all of my hydrofacials. I don't care what hydrofacial you have done, they're included in all of my prices. So that's something that I do with this one. Um, it's also designed for what's called a kiss and twist, which you kind of like do this like smash, like kind of like smacking down, I want to say smash, this kind of smacking down it kind of feels like guppy kisses. Um, and I sometimes have people ask me what the hydrofacial kind of feels like coming across and I think it feels like a cat's tongue. It's a little bit scratchy and a little bit like nice, um, but that's kind of what it feels like. So that is what the hydrofacial tips are kind of all about um, for the primary. So when we're doing a facial, a regular facial, these are the three that we usually use. And if you wind up having any questions, please put them down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And um, I hope to see you on the next video. So make sure you subscribe, especially put in for the notifications. Make sure you ring that little bell. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye, guys.